Hello, my name is Viktor Neodrejczak and I work in the Institute of Physiology and Pathology of Hearing in Warsaw, Poland and I would like to present some results related to the accuracy and repeatability of chatbots and their performance in the field of audiology. Although, although the term artificial intelligence and certain application of it have been known for many years, tools based on it have recently became very popular. A major trigger was the introduction of ChatGPT in 2022, which was soon made publicly accessible by its developers OpenAI. ChatGPT stands for Chat Generative Pre-trained Transformer. ChatGPT is so-called chatbot, a conversational natural language processing system of artificial intelligence based on large language models. The intent of the chatbot is to interact with users in a way that resembles a conversation between humans. And ChatGPT generated a lot of interest, over 100 million users in two months. This has prompted the release of other chatbots such as Google Gemini and Microsoft Copilot. These chatbots are pre-trained on extensive data sets and fine-tuned before being made widely available. Enthusiasm for chatbots continues to grow and their potential in various applications is under discussion. For example, ChatGPT recently achieved a score of 60% on the United States medical licensing examination, giving it a clear pass. Some recent press reports have tried to link the rise in chat GPT use with the start of school year. A quick review made three months after the release of chat GPT indicated that its performance depends on the particular topic. Therefore, we wanted to check the performance of chatbots in the field of audiology and uh, we tested three prominent ones uh, like ChatGPT, uh, Copilot, and Gemini. Of particular interest was also the short term repeatability of responses. Use two approaches uh, one with open questions and the second with multiple choice questions. Uh, so, open questions there were 10 questions and they were. Um, rated by two experts using five-point Likert scale, uh, starting with one extremely unsatisfactory uh, and ending with five extremely satisfactory. Multiple choice questions were 30 single answer multiple choice exam questions from one year course on objective methods of testing hearing. And the questions were posed several times to both ChatGPT 3.5, the free version, and ChatGPT4, the paid version. The accuracy of responses was evaluated in terms of response key. So starting with open questions, they were like this, uh, like what is an audiometric hearing test? What is cochlear implant surgery? What is newborn hearing screening? So the results were uh, uh, in total uh, for 45 out of 50 for ChatGPT, 37 and 36 out of 50 uh, for Copilot and Gemini. There were no statistically significant uh, differences between chatbots. Uh, uh, however, there were some uh, errors found in the responses and also uh, there were statistically significant uh, differences when uh, the number of responses in which sources were provided. So Copilot provided uh, sources in nearly all responses, while ChatGPT did not provide sources at all. And there uh, were also differences in terms of a suggestion a help of a specialist um, at the end of the response. So the Gemini uh, provided such, such suggestion in nearly all questions or co-pilot uh, in only one question. There were also significant differences in number of words, so the co-pilot responses were the shortest and chat GPT responses was, were the longest ones. 
in terms of multiple choice questions uh, uh, here we can see the percentage of questions that were uh, responded correctly so there were 30% uh, across many trials uh, of posing the same questions to chatbots uh, so 30% uh, was always correct for ChatGPT version 3.5 and 30% was uh, always incorrect and 30% was sometimes correct and sometimes incorrect. Uh, the result improved with the higher version of ChatGPT, ChatGPT4. Uh, there were 50% of responses that were always answered correctly. So we see that there is some variability. So without taking into consideration accuracy of the responses, the agreement between uh, responses was uh, around 80% for ChatGPT 3.5 and around 88 for ChatGPT 4. So uh, the higher version, the uh, higher version of ChatGPT4 uh, improves both in accuracy and repeatability, but still there is some field for improvement. Uh, so uh, to conclude, chatbots offer an intriguing means of accessing basic information in specialized fields like audiology. However, caution is necessary uh, as accurate information may be intermixed with some subtle errors that can go unnoticed without a solid understanding of the subject matter. And this is particularly concerning for ChatGPT, which lacks of routine provision of sources, making it challenging to assess the reliability of the information presented. Uh, also, the observed high reliability in responses from time to time raises concerns about the suitability of chatbots for professional applications. Uh, so thank you for your attention and uh, here are the uh, links uh, to some preprints related to this presentation. So thank you very much.